WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're having a sell-off in the stock market today after being stronger earlier. Uh, the bonds are still up about a full point. Uh, people are running for cover, I guess, looking for a, a flight to quality. We've got the uh, E-mini Dow is down about 440 points, by far the weakest. S&P is down 45 handles. The NASDAQ is down 111 handles. So we've got gold selling off for the first time in a while. We almost made a new high at 1930 but then it backed off a little bit the interesting one today has been copper copper was up uh, substantially at one time and now it's low it's lower it got all the way up to the uh, 61 percent retracement on the weekly charts up there at uh, 431 and uh, 432 was a number and then it went to 435.50 and then dropped not too much it only dropped about uh, 25 cents which is not much for copper anymore given the fact it's up 11 days in a row. The other one that looks uh, really interesting here, folks, is we need to pay a very, very close attention to uh, natural gas. It isn't ready yet, but it's getting pretty close. So keep your chart focused on that because it's coming into a strong cyclical period that we talked about several times this past week. And it's just not quite ready yet, but it is getting close. So those are a couple of the ones that we're looking at here today. And we'll have some fun here today. Those of you that would like to hear Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, uh, he will be my guest on my show that's coming up here in a few minutes. And uh, it's always a lot of fun to listen to him. Remember, folks, we have a Chinese New Year on Sunday. Uh, I, I believe, I can't remember what it is. It's a year of something, but I don't remember. Might be the lamb or something. I don't. Someone's told me, but I've forgotten already. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Anyway, those are the things that are happening today. Make sure you use stops on everything you do, because if you don't, you're telling Mother Market that you know more than she does, and she doesn't like that kind of action. So we'll be back with you folks tomorrow. Stay tuned for my show, Fibonacci 24-7, here at TFNN. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the